old video on my app called Stream TV. Uh, this app is for fourth generation uh, Apple TV. Stream TV practically allows you to manage all your streaming and viewing needs that are not available on the Apple TV arena, meaning that you can set up home share videos and stream it directly to your Apple TV without needs for iTunes PC. You can set up your favorite IPTV channels or uh, radio channels. In the future, I hope to ditch my other boxes such as the iTunes PC, Kodi, Xbox and hope to have uh, everything available right from the Siri remote. This is a video on my first released version which is 1.5, a very basic and crude version but it will get a lot better fast. It has the ability to add separate channels or video or you can use a central M3U file which is a playlist file to add many channels automatically. Stream TV 1.5 actually supports many video and streaming formats such as MP3, MP4, AVI, HDP based uh, streams, MOV files, etc. 1.7, which is coming on April uh, 2016, will include many more. So, when you first download the app, it comes empty of content. Uh, there are two tabs TV and video tabs. Each tab has uh, one empty channel as a dummy channel, like a placeholder. The third tab is setting tab. There you can set up your M3U and uh, logo provider links, which will provide your IPTV channels. You can also do some customizations such as uh, background color for the TV and video tabs. Uh, version 1.5 support only black and white uh, background, but 1.6 will change that. You can also do several admin or maintenance work from that screen, such as uh, restore defaults or clear all content in case you require that. If we swipe back to the TV tab, we can see that there is one dummy channel. If I try to play it, it will uh, stream nothing, the stream is invalid. If I long press it, then a pop-up menu appears where you can see a bunch of options. If I click on the edit channel option, it takes me to a screen where I can manually change the channel details, such as a channel name, channel image and the channel URL. This is the video or audio stream URL. On each channel that uh, has no other channels next to it or beneath it, you can slide right or down and the plus sign slide out, indicating you are adding another channel. If you complete the swipe motion and raise your finger off the touchpad of the remote, it will launch the add new channel screen uh, where you can enter details for the new channels you want to add. For instance, I will create a channel for BBC4 channel. I use my iPhone with the, the Apple remote app in order to copy and paste rather than screen keyboard everything. Once I fill the name, image or logo and the video stream URL, channel appears right next to the channel icon I previously long pressed. When I click that icon, then I can play the channel. If I long press the channel icon, I get the same pop-up menu as before. Let's for instance duplicate this channel. I don't need the empty dummy channel anymore. And now that I have my first channel set up, I can delete it. Let's do the same for the BBC4 duplicate. This icon as well can have the swipe to add gesture. Swipe left to display the channel browser, but I haven't set it up yet, so it will not appear. Channel browser will allow me to preview and add channels without the need to manually write URLs and name. Simply swipe to the setting tab, click the X info URL text field, After I press next, I have the option to state the logo base URL. 
That means if the M3U Ext info file contains a logo for each channel, it might be a full URL for each logo or a relative logo. If it's a relative logo, that means only the name of the logo appears in the M3U file. In order to be able to download the logo properly, we need to state the base URL each logo should start with. In this example, BBC4 logo will be this URL plus a forward slash sign and the logo name, which will appear in the M3U file. So this is more advanced features. Don't worry if you don't fully understand it. Uh, since the IPTV supplier you will use should let you know in some way uh, if you require a logo base URL. Most of them don't use it. Also, uh, not setting the logo URL means that the pretty icons for each channel will not appear, but the channel itself will still work and play. So, once we have this data set up, we need to press download channels list. This action can take several seconds to a minute. Once that's done, go over to the TV tab, stand on the leftmost channel icon and swipe left. If the channel browser does not appear, uh, that may occur in version 1.5, then you need to restart the app from the app switcher. That should do it. Now you can browse the channel this provider has to offer. עכשיו למבחן הסל, רשתות השיווק מנצלות אין דרך אחרת לתאר זאת את מיעוט הסניפים בפריפריה. קליק דם אין אורדר טו אד דם טו יור טי וי טאב. וואנס דר, אסימפל קליק און דה אדד צ'אנל וויל סטארט פליין. למשל, סל המוצרים הקבוע שלנו יעלה בסופר היחיד בעיר 898 שקלים. גם במ... Let's do another example or two. Now let's do an example in the video tab. Here I will add a video from YouTube, but you can add a video from wherever you wish. as long as you have the URL and its supported format within this app. Within the video player, I can scrub through, pause, rewind, like any other Apple TV video you are uh, accustomed to. I will delete the empty video since I don't require it anymore. Other options in the settings tab include background for the video and TV tab. Another option is to clear all the content from the app in case you require it. When you go to any tab, video or TV, it will automatically bring the add new channel screen. So I will cancel it at the moment because I don't need it. 
when I click the restore default content, then the app content is back to default with the empty channels. The last restore default value will empty the two text field and set the background color back to the default. One last feature I would like to show you is the top shelf feature. I have uh, populated my TV tab with the channels for this demo. I will take the stream TV icon to the Apple TV top shelf and what the app will show me is the channels that I have decided to put on the featured collection which is the topmost channel collection in the TV tab. Now I can select my favorite channels right from the home screen and play them directly. I have all the other player options available for me and if I exit the player I'm back in the app. I hope this helps you and I hope you will enjoy this app as much as I do.